We're not working on a dash yet. The hose. Ooh. Don't need that. We're not working on a brake key just yet. We're doing spark plugs. The brake lines we're not doing yet. There's a front axle that we probably won't be using. We will need some shoes, only. I think so. And you said to use anything. And we definitely need one of these because somebody punctured the damn rubber and they blamed it on me. That was all my fault, evidently. Look, it doesn't even come with screws. No. You're lucky it came with a bleeder. Yeah, they didn't paint it either. No, they usually aren't. Rust. They don't care about rust on cars, do they? No. How many cars do you see where they paint them? Not very often. But they bang you for a new one every time you have brakes done. That's right, because they're rusty. No, because it won't go under their warranty. It's black on my hand. And a brake, break, you know, like Midas brakes and all that? Mm -hmm. Unless you replace everything, the springs, the oh. the so they will not they will not do your brakes. Yeah. That's just that's how they do it, huh? That's just how they do it. It's policy. Wow. All those places that those brake companies, they will not use any of your springs ever, any of that stuff. Good thing I don't go to those places. I don't either, but that's what they do. Oh look at that, it's all black now like the rest of this. Oh I put that that was the fresh paint there too. What'd you do with screws that we lost? Take my Loctite too? So you stole my bottle of Loctite. No, we put it over there. What color is this? Blue. I don't know it's blue. Could look at it. What color is this? Uh, let me see. I can't, well, it could be, I, I, the bottle's blue, doesn't mean it's blue inside though. That's right, that's why I can't go by this being blue. But I can see it's blue here. <sighs> You know, you're trying to get me on one of those trick questions. I didn't fall for it. You didn't go for it? Got that last week, though. I know, somebody gave me blue last time. I did. I gave it to you one time. I'm not going to lie. I don't really care. I'm human. I make errors. You know? It's not blue. Oh, well, big deal. Well, the first time I make a mistake, it won't be the last. Oh, you walked in the door, right? <laughs> yeah, I woke up. It's a mistake. <laughs> Tools. Yeah, the screws aren't blocked either. Oh, you can, that's why you got a paint can. They're already rusty though. Well, just paint them. I already painted it. Paint it again. Paint it again? That'd be almost like wasting paint. Yeah, I don't think so. Like You're high on paint. We're sniffing paint now. That's right. Yeah, paint with you happy? It's black. It looks black to me. All right. Should have painted yellow. Ten foot with paint job on the bike. I heard they like yellow bikes in Texas. That's right. These haven't been modified yet. Should I modify these? Yeah. I remember when we used to buy just the shoes and river them on ourselves. The linings. The linings, I mean. I got a whole bunch of those over there. Do you? you still got, yeah, your dad had a bunch. I have two cases of the uh, genuine Harley linings that are not exactly uh, California friendly anymore. Yeah. Because they actually work. Yeah, they actually stop you. They have that funny smell in the burn, too. Yeah. I'm not sure what they're made out of. Yeah, we know what they're made out of. Yeah. We won't say the name. You gonna come? Yeah. <laughs> 
Put the paper on it. Yeah. You gotta tell them why they do that. I like to breathe in the steam. At least it's not a yeah, that's why they don't stop. Yeah, the ones that, the ones that actually stop. I'm glad nobody has those anymore. We'll have to put two and two together. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one thing about working all Harley's, you know what the special smells like. So you tape them a little bit so they don't dig in. That's a theory. It's supposed to be leading a trailing shoe too. Which one's which? One's supposed to be longer than the other. Yeah, they're different width. Are oh, they doing in the width on this one? Usually the length. Which one's which? The uh, what is it? Uh, the leading is the wide one. I think. Which one's leading? The wheel would be going this way, it would be the front one, it would be leading. Hmm? Front one. Front one? Front shoe. Front shoe? Yeah. Is leading? It's leading. Sure. It would be... Yeah. Well, it depends on how you look at it. Depends on where the slave cylinder is. Right. Slave cylinder's on the top. So the yeah, camera over here. Not so close. See, the wheel's going this way. The brake goes open like this. All right. The pivot's down here. So when you're going around like this, and you pivot it here, which side's going to put the pressure on first? This side. No, this is the pivot side. It's going to drag from here to here. This one's pivoting. Oh, okay, here. yeah. So when this comes out, it's going to be your leading. It's going to dig in here, so that's the leading one. So, this is the front one in this case, but that's how you know which way it is. Now, if it was upside down, this would be the leading one. If the brake was on the side like that, right. this would be the leading side. You can't always go front and rear. You just have to figure it out. Yeah, that's assuming the brakes actually go on that way. How come these don't fit with the ship? They have it upside down. The titty goes inside a cylinder. And this here I hold. You so you couldn't cylinder. get them backwards if you wanted to. Sure you can. I, I like that. Will it still fit in there? Yeah. Oh. This is at a flat underneath here and it's at a point. <clears throat> now you want me to put this crap on there and make a mess. Yeah, it does that. I don't think it really matters on these brakes doing that. No, because it gets filled with that brake powder anyhow. On the old brakes, it matters. The pivots with the cams, because they have the rotating surfaces. These here generally rotate. Well, you, they also used to fit the shoes to the drum. You know, they don't do that anymore. Well, you're supposed to park them. <clears throat> you're supposed to do that. Put the bottom spray on first. We gotta put these on. Well, put the bottom one on and then twist them on. Pull one shoe off and put it on. That's how I do it. You mean the bottom one's easy? Yeah, the bottom one's easy. Right. The other one ain't too bad. It isn't? Yeah, it depends on who does it. It's, yeah, that's true. It all depends on who does it. I'm doing it so it's going to be hard because this is not going up where I want it to be. Next problem is is it the right spring or not? You got to put the rod in there for the emergency brake. <laughs> I forgot about that. The next problem is how you going to get the spring over here. Tilt one up, that's what I do. 
hard to tilt up the ones that are like this. Spring tension. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, I need those clips. There's no spring tension. There's no spring tension? You're gonna ooh. You're gonna have to go to these. What are you filming up there? Oh. I got you're gonna have to go. You don't even make it that far. Has to make it that far because this one here is for the clips. Yeah, you know, clips go down here. Yeah, no. all right. But uh, you still gotta go to here. Yeah. No, you can't go to there. And the clips need to be put in first because all right. you can't get them in there without that. Which is gonna make it hard to do what we just did by tilting like the old blades. Well, you should be able to. So the next problem is just how we're gonna get a spring in this longer. Hmm. Okay, I know how to do it. The bottom one. We put these clips in. We take this off, put the clips in, take the bottom spring, spread it for the Hmm. I have a spring tool here. I don't work on cars. Where's my scale at? Uh, right now, the problem is breaking. Installation is not a problem right now if the spring is too short. Okay, so we got to figure out how long are these shoes. Eight inches. Okay, we're eight and a thirty second, eight forty. Shoes are a hundred thousand under. When you spread out, you don't have tension on it. it won't be much, but it'll have tension on it when it comes out. It's got a hundred thousand movement come out. Uh -huh. So it'll have a little bit of tension, not a lot. Well, you can put the cams, you can turn them out. Yeah, I know I have to do it with just the brakes. Right. Problem is the spring it should have tension on it. Right, it should have tension from the go get. Yeah, it's, it's, the springs are 100 thou too short or too long. I mean, you know, the 58 springs are different than the 63 springs. So I'm not sure what the 58 springs are. Thank you. 
You can take those two bolts off from the bottom down there and pull that little plate. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know you know. I'm gonna do one on this one. Okay, so this is the V twin spring. Let's see if it's the same spring. Okay, it's the same spring. Same length spring. It's a different manufacturer, but the same length. These ones I think are from Eastern. V twin actually has a full loop on it, like it should be. Mm -hmm. These only come down with a partial loop. That might make it a little bit tighter. No, it's the same overall height. Is it? When you look at it, it's the same. Yeah. Same dimension. Better spring though. No, here's the 58 spring here. That's longer. A lot longer. Half inch longer. I don't know if that'll reach all the way to the other side though. I'll we'll be asking a lot. It's got to have a big enough flat to go all the way across there to that. Be four and a half inches. This is four inches. You would have to stretch a half of an inch and that spring ain't going to be. Yeah. And it won't do it anyhow. The, the, the tang on the one side ain't long enough. On the short side? This side? Yeah. Yeah. It goes right here. That ain't a problem. The problem is it's a half inch. It's too long. Too much distance between the bowl and that bowl. One thing we can do. And weld a hole a little bit. Yeah. I don't know why they slide it in the first place. The spring will go in there. So if I spray, if I, if I weld up that hole a little bit on both sides, it'll give me a little extra spring tension. I wonder what those fit too, because that that's also cut for a car. It doesn't even look like the Harley. Things. This has got that car cut in there. You think these might not be original Harley screws? I, I bet you there's something else. You think these fit a Willie's pickup truck? They fit something. You think? I know. I'll bet you find a stock set of Harleys and they don't look like that. Probably not. We don't have any. We'll be right back. Filming, you're on, live. I'm live. Can you just pull the shoes up? Tatro machine. Where's he at? Right there. He went home. He's here some days. Some day. Okay, we welded up the, uh, the two slots partially. So we have to grind off the excess. Good thing we fixed that welder last week. Yeah. Well, it's better than it was, aren't it? Kind of fixed it. Kind of. What's that? Kind of fixed it. Well, better than it was. It would have been nicer if it had been a little better. Yeah. Oh, Rick could 
It was the first attempt. Sometimes first attempts get it close, but don't get it all the way there. Nice medium grip sander. Grind it all off? Grind the whole shoe away, yeah. Aren't you supposed to? I'm going to deburr. What's that? I don't think the emergency brake part is going to fit in there. Yeah, I don't think I'd worry about it. Oh, well, we're okay with that? I'm okay with it. Okay. I would have been okay so not even. Weld it up partial. So. Yeah. Well, you didn't honestly think it was going to go all the way through, did you? I could see where I was welding wood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We always wind up welding when there's no light. Alright, so now we got a couple of welded up holes. See how that works. I'm gonna start here fad. Brake shoe welding. Send all your brake shoes to Pedro Machine to have them all up. No. <laughs> I think you're going to have to put springs on afterwards. You think? I think so. Should I make sure the spring fits in the hole first? See how much I move that up? Mm-hmm. Look at it from that side. You can see where it's at. That's where it was. So that'll move me about a sixteenth of an inch on both sides. Should mean we got tension on it. Drop in. You probably want me to do the bottom and the last now, right? Well, I have no comment. <laughs> don't matter. It ain't worth my comments ain't worth shit anyhow, so it don't matter. Yeah, we'll see about that. Those springs are got tension. Right? They're kind of a pain in the butt. Now you know why everybody went to disc. <laughs> I'd rather have juice than fadeaways, though. I'm a bigger screwdriver, so find me the big one. Behind me or somewhere else? Forced in without it. Yep. I'll use my duck bill. What are you filming over there? How was my butt back there? I wasn't looking at your butt. I could give a shit less about your butt. That's what the camera was looking at there, I think. Well, that was for the six percent of girls. Oh, it's five point eight percent. Five point eight percent. They all and wanted to know. Somebody made a comment about the Hillary comment we did the other day. Oh yeah. I didn't think that would would go too good. I didn't care. Okay, now we have to get this all the way over to here. Now the one problem, it looks like it's going to be dragging on the cup a little bit. That's yeah, well that's because it's going to bring this down it's into the center. Yeah, it's probably because it's too high up. Yeah, we've got to compress it together and everything. So you compress this when that one goes out. Yeah. Okay, now I have these little things called pliers. Is that what those are called? Yeah. Take these and go like Gotta this. remember to look through the screen. There. Is that enough grip? Yeah. I know they have special pliers. 
Yeah. We don't have them. So we use non-special pliers. This is not a hammer either. Everybody seen him hitting it, hitting that spring with that tool. If anybody else would have done that, they would have paid. Okay, now when you go all the way in, hey, we have we still have about zero tension on that, but we're about neutral tension now. Well, camber it out until about where it's supposed to be. At least now where it's out, where it's going to fit, we'll have some tension on that spring. A lot better than it was. You're missing a part. Where's your missing part? Right here. Yeah, yeah I know, but where is it at? You didn't bring it. Well, you didn't bring it. I didn't. It's my fault. Yeah, well, you're the one that's in control of that. Bring some black paint. Why we are screwed up already? I want to paint right in here where just because I want to. Right here. I want to paint right here. You want to paint the inside of the drum? Right. We don't know if that hits there yet. Right, but if we got paint, we'll find out. Oh, is that how it works? Well, that's what I was going to do. Paint's right there. That's a lot of work. What are you filming over there? I was talking. Oh, that was my titty. I don't know. I'm filming it again. Some people are making comments about you. Oh, well. Okay, so if we go like this, that's that's got paint on it over there. You think so? Yeah. I'll go over here. It's got no paint on this side, right? Don't go all the way on one side until you get both sides. Which side's the cam on right now? Cam's all the way in. Cam's so you got to uh, rotate. Let's see. This one needs to rotate outward. I was going the right direction. If you rotate them outward, cams go out like that on the high spot instead of the low spot. So I'd rather have the shoe being held on this side. Got a lot of farther to go. I saw it move. I hear it dragging. But you're not going to get that out now. I don't think you're going to get it out. Now. I've got paint on my hand too. So maybe we have to come back a little bit. Just when it's on the bike, uh, yep, probably because you'll get it sitting over that way or with the axle through it. I just want to get kind of an idea where it was at. I just need to back that one. Check your tin tension on your spring. There you go. That's what I want to check. See how they're this one's a little bit further mm -hmm. around than this one. We got a little bit of tension on this, but not a ton. Enough to pull the slave cylinder back. Yeah. So I can live with it. How about you? Can you live with it? I can live with it. You can live with it? It's close enough for me. How about the owner? Can you live with it? We don't care. He's oh. not here. I thought he was supposed to be here. Not the first time. How's that brake look? Looks good. Got a good view of it going there. Yeah, all right, well. Time to put it on the bike? Time to put it on the bike. Okay. Back. I wanted it for home. Yeah. All right, we back on? We're back on. I found my rubber. Rick took it. Wouldn't be the first time. I'm going to put it back on where it belongs. Okay. How come I got a mark full of over here? Just 
any seeds on the block. Okay, so let's see, everything's in there now? No. Good. Can you see way over there? I'm gonna get there when you get there. I'm getting there. Okay, I painted this black because it was rusty. Slip, huh? Should be able to put it all together now. Famous last words. Okay. There. There. Oh, look at that. That just fell right in the exact spot where it's supposed to be. I don't believe it's going to go this easy. Something must be wrong. Don't jinx yourself. Damn, it went together really nice. Don't jinx yourself. It still fits. You gotta have that spacer there. So don't push the wheel this time. They're gonna get on me about beating on the bike now. You're beating on a tire. I baited it. I know I might damage it. I painted it silver so it wouldn't rust too. Look at that. Must be final assembly time. Only if it works, right? Well, you still got to put a chain on it. A chain guard. We're on the brake. We're not on the chain right now. Jeez, you want to take all my thunder away there? Yeah. I'm really stealing my thunder. Too close to. Final mock-up. You gotta adjust it again when you put the chain on. Yeah, we're just making sure all the parts fit, though. What's that? We're just making sure all the parts fit. Doesn't fit. Oh, look at that. It drags. Supposed to. Now I adjust them. Now I have to adjust it? We don't have to. We don't have to do anything. Okay, we gotta move it outward, not inward. Well, that was pretty close. We're gonna get in here. Maybe with a wrench. With a wrench. Boy, I'd do it. This wasn't all the way where it's supposed to be. This one takes the wrench in and out, doesn't it? Yep. You can unscrew it if you get lucky. Yeah, without the drum there, you can screw it in pretty easy. I have my doubts about that. Look how close that is, that shock's doing. It's right there. You'd think they'd have a special way of doing this. Well, they probably huh? have a special 90 degree tool or something uh, to adjust it. They probably did. Yeah, but it was one of those hardly only tools. Yeah. Yeah. I remember buying oversized bearings at San Diego Harley and they had that tenth micrometer, you know. Mm -hmm. They actually had one? Yeah, oh yeah. We got in the big discussion about that. I said, well I can get close enough with my caliper and the guy came out and just chewed me, chewed me a new asshole and said, 
you can't do it. You got to have one of these. I said, I can get close. It's just a bit, you know, I'm guessing anyhow, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I was lapping to fit, you know. And guy gave me a, he wouldn't even sell me no bearings because of it. It doesn't rotate. No, well, then you gotta back it off. Back off a little bit. Back off a little bit. Got drag, it sounds pretty good on. Back off a little more. A little more. It should be close enough. Yeah, because it's got a, the shoe's gotta wear into the drum. At least that's what I heard. Not too tight. Not really, but it is. That's a lot of wearing. Yeah. If you were just driving around the block about 50 times, you might get away with that. But, <laughs> you know, if you went in any zone thing, you'd have a crack break zone. Break, I could put on and adjust them better, but for now, that's all they're going to do with it. You got to readjust them after you break everything anyway, but I'm sure that's going to happen, right? If you do it. chain guard on it in the chain chain for the chain guard before the chain guard yeah it's easier i don't know about that it's hard to get these bolts there's even a chain over in that box over there oh uh, i don't think there is here's the screwed up springs jesus aren't those nice you have to look at the springs you're showing oh that's why we call that the junk box Oh, look at those shoes. They could have been used, but... Well... They were kind of nasty looking. Hey, yeah, they got some oil soaked to them. Look at that chatter. Did that, that bit fit right? It didn't fit very well, did it? No. Yeah, it rotates good backwards. How about forward? Yeah, it does that too. So if you spin this about 3,000 times, it will break in by then? Yeah. Well, but it, you should be able to spin it, then you should make at least four or five rotations before it stops, ain't it? It would drag? I don't know. On a car, it was like two location, rotation, but the car is a little bit heavier. I don't go by that method. That makes sense. I go by feel. All right, we got that in there. The uh, brake line is the other piece that needs to go in the puzzle. You didn't see the chain in the chain box? I didn't see one. You didn't get the chain box here. It's over here. Do you, want to, do you want to use this one or this one? That's primary. We're not ready for that one yet. You're not ready for that one yet? But all this stuff could go on. No, because the unit primary is coming back off. Oh, it is? And we don't have a motor done yet. Well, yeah, but you don't need the inner primary. Come off for the motor. Uh, yes, Why is that? Put the darn primary on the back of the motor. It's really hard to tighten up a rear motor mount without. Oh, you don't have one of those special wrenches like I got. <clears throat> I have one, but it's really hard to get to. That's why we don't use it. Let's see. You want the rusty side out or the rusty side out? Doesn't matter. It's an all ring chain. Yeah, but it's rusty. Did I hit it? How do I get in there? You just reach in if you can and get it started, turn the transmission. You like a little vacuum gear or something? Yeah, well, having that jack on it there ain't gonna help you. Yep, here's the 
far as I can go. I think somebody put a jack in the way. Put a jack. Uh, yeah, it's in the front of the black still. Oh yeah, there it is. It's way over here. I have to push it down the hill, not up the hill. That's why it's easier to do it with off the bike. Yeah. Which is a good thing to do because we don't have it on the bike yet. Well, if you're going to pull the primary off, then, then, yep. then I'd go ahead and take it off. It'd make it a little easier, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, I just thought you had the primary on there for good, you know. No, hell no. What's that? No way. I never try to put the, <laughs> you know, never mind. Well, one thing is you can put the starter and all that on the primary now. No, the starter's coming off. It'd be really hard to take it on and off the bike, assemble. I'd get yelled if I'd done that. At least twice. Maybe the three times. Maybe. How I abused this tool. That's right. You did. I saw you do it. If you use this punch, don't ever put one in backwards. Is no, don't mix them up in my drawer. Put them in line. Put them in line. So don't I'm... even go into that toolbox unless you ask. It's probably best if you didn't go in there. Nothing there you need. You know, what's even worse, the toolbox? Yeah, your machinist stuff. No. One on the wall over there. Which, oh, yeah, I know. I've been chewed out for touching stuff on that wall. Yep. That's all for looks. Yep. You're not allowed to use those. Those are new tools up there. Yeah, 20 years ago, and they're still new to this day. That's right. Because they never allowed off of there. They don't get used very often. Because we have other ones to use. Right. Like the ones in the tool bucket. We don't, those are just for show. Yeah, they go up there and people lose my tool, that's about to grab another one. That does happen. That must be a reproduction uh, clip there with the lockovers. I haven't seen, because, uh, you know, I haven't seen one of those stock original ones in a long time. Yeah, well. I think they make this stuff up as they go. Look what it did to the washer. I mean, oh, yeah. Obviously not hitting very good up in that whole area. They never did any good in those stupid things. I perfectly made this flatter than it used to be, and it still gets all bowed up. Okay, is this going to come off? Try to come off that bearing. You didn't want to go on that bearing. Never does. Hopefully the washer's coming off. And take all these. Instead of putting these on plastic bags or towels, just put them on. I like those new chain adjusters that they use on the Evos. Yeah. You know, with the little spring loaded. Oh, I like that stuff. That's twin cam crap. Anyway, there's this primary. Come on off. I want this bearing. You like this? How does it feel? How do you feel it? I put a new one in it. 
if it wasn't for the dirt and grub. And it don't matter. You're gonna, you're not gonna pull that thing all the way apart to replace that bearing. It ain't worth the work. Yeah, I'm getting. It's starting to rotate now. Yeah, well, I don't give a darn for the price of that bearing. Put another one in. Throw that son of a gun away. You didn't want to rotate. Now there's the problem with the chain. Yeah. <clears throat> That's why it's hard to fish these things through. So I was pushing down. I wouldn't go any further down. I'm thinking it was in the wrong spot. What do you think? I'm thinking they're always a pain. That's why you always connect another chain to this one. When you yank right. It. But you didn't have one connected to pull it out. No, I did not. And when you drop one alongside the freeway, you don't have one connected. And this appears to be a an O ring chain. You didn't bring the tools for doing the chains, did you? Bring the O ring chain puller? Yeah. I just Why do you put an O ring chain with a crappy master link like this on there? You'd think they would have a heavy duty clip. You'd think. I bet you they lost the original one and they, they wound up putting that piece of crap. No, I don't think they put them on the O ring chains anymore. The rig, like the old ones, you know, that big. They have, they have a big heavy duty clip, that ain't, that's like a regular standard chain clip. They probably lost the real one. Yeah, it looks like something they just put on there they ran out of the other stuff. I remember I used to carry the old one before they had O-ring chains, you know. You'd always put a master link on your key ring. Yeah. Or on, on your ignition switch. Or, that's how you do it. Oh, yeah, well, God, you get out of the middle of somebody and you lose one of those stupid master links, you'll do anything for one. Off. They're right there. That's why you have to have another pair. They're right there. Where? Way where you left them. Oh. See? I knew you were taking them. Where's my steel hammer? Was it next to it? Right there. It's over here. Right where you left it. Gotta watch out for that guy that keeps lefting luft stuff everywhere. Assembly loop? Rick. Oh, I closed the, the closed the lid. Got me. See, I told you I'd be in trouble before the thing was over. Rick did it again. Make sure you put lubricant on your O-rings. And make sure you put lubricant on the other side too. Here's some new O-ring rubbers. Hmm? If I steal them over there, there would be new ones. No. Those are probably quad rubbers, and these are probably O-ring rubbers. <coughs> Got next to an O-ring chain. So these are O-ring, not quad. The inferior chains run the, uh, the O-ring styles to the quad style. That's how you tell the difference between a good chain and a crappy chain. All right, this one goes on next. My old pliers now. They're gonna complain about my video video on this. Again? Oh always. Look at that, that almost fits. I think that's the wrong one. Goes on way too easy. I could bring in a heavy duty one from, from home, but I wouldn't want to do that. Why'd I do that? No, it won't come loose. No, it's definitely tight. Up. Let me go over here and make sure it still rotates. Nice and free. Adjust it up. What's that noise? Rubber against the frame. Is that the brakes dragging? Yep. That's what I thought. Did you find a wrench for that yet? Nope. Crescent wrench. Uh, I'm not supposed to use crescent wrench because I get bad comments about that. Well, you use a Mexican speed wrench. Okay. I need a metric version, though. They got one of those, too. It's called a Puerto Rico speed wrench. Yeah. No, I'm just joking. 
senior commissing chair Rick. Yeah. Whatever. That's what I was taught. I lived next to Mexico. When they used to come up, the cars break down, they'd come in the back alley and they'd say, do you have a Mexican speed wrench? And I said, what are you talking about? And they'd show me a crescent wrench. Mm -hmm. So that's where I learned it, and I've called them that ever since I was a little go. kid. Trouble now. No offense to nothing, but that, they taught me that, so. How many turns we need to go? What's that? How many flats do I go? I don't know. I think I'm up to about 20. Time to go to the other side. I don't hear it rubbing anymore. It's got to be getting close. Oh, yeah, just leave it there. Well, it's going to break in at some point. It's already broken in. That's how it keeps going up every time I turn that screw. All right, how's our offset look? Because I lost it. Original position we had it. Oh, I'm way the hell off. Oh, yeah. We've been adjusting this. It's got at least three flaps off. Or loose spot. That's a tight spot. All right, how's our wheel offset now? I think you went too much on this side. Yeah, we got the video to prove it. Prove that you did it wrong? Yeah. It's a good thing. I need that video. This is pretty close. Yeah, we're pretty close now. Well, you can tell that uh, that tire was rubbing the chain before. rubbing the fender before, not the chain. If it had a chain, it would have those figure eight marks going through it. Yeah. And it'd be in the white wall, not over here. The white wall sticks out further, see. That was where it went up in the fender because the offset was wrong. It's about the right amount of clearance. Yeah. Everybody likes running them tight. They're not supposed to be tight. It's supposed to be about there. I'm going to leave it there. Now you put lubricant on it, it'll probably loosen up a little bit. But I would leave it there. I'm going to give it one more flat. Just for the hell of it. Loosen up a little bit as you're breaking the gunk that's in it. Where's my wrench? Okay, is this tight? Nope. What's the torque on that? Tight. Tight. Same torque I use. What about this one? Torque. Tight. Tight again. Not that much. Not that much. It's real tight. Yeah, it still rotates. Look at that. That was dry. It was last time I put lube on it. Yeah. You know? probably never heard of chain lube. I never have. 
Now I remember when we used to soak them in oil. Yeah. Remember what happened when you put back on the bike? Yeah. <laughs> Well, these old pan heads and old knuckle heads and stuff like that, they, they kick enough oil out anyhow. You don't have to worry about it. I didn't notice. Okay, those are all locked in. There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll get down the road. Put a chain guard on it. And Gotta put some lube on it. Lube on it, and all we got left is brake line to the back. You got a chain guard somewhere? Ah, uh, you gotta have one here somewhere. It's next to you. Someplace. It was shiny. Look on the bottom under that inner tube. Under where here? Under the inner tube. Let's see the camera. Oh, there it is. Ooh. 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 Freshly polished up. I think that one has the rubbers in it. The one in the back doesn't. Yeah. This thing was actually all together once? More or less. I mean, not, you know what I mean. Let's just say it looked like it was together. Right. That's what I meant. Let me polish that up. Nice and polished. He used yeah, my scrub pad. To polish. He used a scrub pad to polish the chrome, which kills yeah. the chrome. Yeah, right there. You can see all the scrub marks. Marks in it now. But then he rebuffed it, so they took out some of the uh, marks and put into it. Okay, so it appears the rubber is still kind of in there. Yeah. That's a good sign. Just gonna lay that in there and leave it? No, you gotta find some chrome bolts and nuts. Oh, what does it look like these? Maybe that's what this bolt was laying back there. long enough. I think there should be a washer on that bolt too. There might be another one. Floating I think that on. looks more like that one. There we go. I knew there would be another one someplace. Oh look it's got chrome. chrome on it. But it has no Loctite on it. Good thing we got some Loctite over here. Here's another one but it's missing the this washer. Not Loctite. This is Dino Tech. Tech. This one probably goes in the back. And this one probably goes up here. I think he had a nut or something on it. Oh, wait a minute. This one goes up here. It's longer. It has to be longer. Yeah, it's longer. All right, quit touching and film. You're trying to confuse me. No, I'm not. I'm trying to get involved myself, and I shouldn't be. Yeah, I think this just takes a nut. Nope, it's threaded. It's threaded. It just takes a flat washer. To... You need a washer. What'd you do with your washer? I don't know. It wasn't there. It wasn't there? There's one over here. Tricky Ricky lost his washer. No, those yeah. are for those are important washers. We have to find a washer for this one. No, well, it's Tricky Tetro. We're gonna be in the washer box. We don't appear to have one in a junk box. How about this one? That's a little big. Yeah, but it's extra. We can't use that one. Sure, you can. Right. I lost my comic book on how to put this together. Well, I'm sure you read the video tomorrow. And, and nobody individually marked it and put it in baggies for me. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't figure it out. I know. If it ain't marked and numbered. Forget it. Can't go together. That's right. Isn't it? 
we got one problem though, and then it's gonna be my fault. I told you to put that chain gun on and we gotta put that piece of brake line from there to there. Oh yeah. That was my fault. It covers that up, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I forgot all about that. that. We had to find out if the chain was gonna hit anyway. I'm thinking there's something wrong. Yeah, it's right here. It got worse right in that one. Pull it this way. I'm looking to see about the rest of it. I'm thinking there might be a bracket issue up here. I got a big heavy bracket right there too. Right in the front. Right here. I'm thinking back right up in here. This bracket's pretty heavy. Yes, and it's right in there. Oh yeah, you can it see it. Hit that mask like mm -hmm. a dead stop. <laughs> see how it hits yeah. something? And then it hits the bracket, so you're right there. Okay, so we know we have to space this over at least an eighth of an inch minimum. At minimum. You get, you're sitting right next to the chain. I would give it a... I'm thinking three sixteenths to a yeah. quarter inch is more in the real world number. Yeah, you have plenty of room. We have a whole finger over here we can move that over. And then you got to move the back back about the same too. We can probably bend the bracket a little bit like that and do the same on this one. But then it looks kind of goofy. It's helping an angle. Yeah, it only hits a little bit now, so. I put those. But now it looks like crap because it's been up. You know. They look better when it's more straight up and down vertical so we can hang it over. Alright, so now we know we have issues. What were those issues? Issues. The chain's in the way. It's a 1965 panhead. Got issues. That, that was the issue? Yeah. The guy in the assembly line this day that built this motorcycle had a hangover. Is that what it was? Right. It's stamped right on there. Hangover Harry. There it is. Harry, the hangover guy, did it? Yep. Good deal. Quality control. Okay, so we need to move that over a little ways. Yeah, you know, for the space in there. I'm thinking we need to go. Ooh, that's like. That's like a whole nut. Right, well, you don't want to. You don't want the swing arm to hit the where it goes up. The frame. They're gonna complain about my camera. Again? Yeah, I get watching you and I forget to watch through the stupid camera. Well, the next problem is the bolt's gonna be too short. I'm gonna have to put a spacer in here and a spacer over here. Somebody did not put the line on yet. That's gonna be another problem. That was my fault. I told you to put the chain guard on. I got ahead of myself. Yeah, you so. That's a good thing. See, now we know the chain guard don't fit. Well, we, yeah, it was mock anyhow. You, you were going to have to come off again anyhow. You still got to come off again. You have to mock it up. Okay, so I need about an eighth of an inch spacer here. I need at least a quarter inch in the front. All right, we'll get back. We'll get back.